mic won't stay up. This microphone isn't cooperating. Um, good morning. As most of you know, Pastor Jen had surgery on Monday, and Tim said it went very well, but she'll be gone for a couple weeks. So myself and Jane and Don are going to conduct the service today. Um, welcome to the service this morning. Are there any announcements? I have, okay, Julie. Well, that's great. That's great. Hopefully she'll have a quick recovery. Um, the homecoming committee will have a meeting tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, and we're going to meet in the Parsonage because we're going to dig through some historical records, we hope. So that's tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. And then there's also a sign-up sheet in the back for our church picnic, which is next Sunday. So make sure to sign up for something. That'll be after church. Are there any birthdays? No birthdays. Okay, then please, please rise to join me in the call to worship. O oh God embodied, the one made flesh who dwelt among us, help us to arrive this morning with a yes, a yes to our faith that says our bodies are good and holy. Just <clears throat> just as and however they are. A yes to show up here, even if our minds may be in other places at times. A yes to believing enough in you, this community, and our own call to know this is where we need to be in this moment. A yes to bringing all that comes from and through our hearts to you, O oh heart maker. Come, let us bring ourselves to God's table of plenty with our inherent worth and dignity to guide us. Amen. You may be seated. I forgot to mention that Susan is also going to be helping us today in the service. Please join me in the invocation. Have mercy on us, O God of healing. We call out to you for ourselves, our community, in our world that has so much suffering. At times we are discouraged to name what we need. So often we were simply never taught how to hold this part of us with tenderness and boundaries. But your word invites us into name what torments us and to receive your love and acceptance. Grant us your grace to take in the strength of your belonging, amen. Our first hymn is number 49.
don't have any children here today, so no children's message. I don't know why that's the wrong day out there. Um, at this time, let's welcome each other by passing God's peace and say hello, everybody. Good morning. I think that's my cue to end. Today, our scripture passage shows, uh, shows us the power of response. What a, blessing to, what a blessing to experience transformation, to have it offered by, by our God, who makes us grow and change. In times when we struggle, to make the turns we need in, a lot, in our lives, may God's grace and, his, and this community walk with us in the labyrinth of forgiveness. Amen. First scripture reading today is from Isaiah chapter 56, verse 1 and 6 through 8. Thus says the Lord, maintain justice and do what is right, for soon my salvation will come and my deliverance be revealed. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants all who keep the Sabbath and do not profane it and hold fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the outcasts of Israel, I will gather others to them besides those already gathered. And from Romans chapter 11, verse 1 and 2, and 29 through 32. I ask then, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he foreknew. Do, your, do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel? For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that, by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience so that he may be merciful to all. And the next hymn is number 316, We Limit Not the Truth of God.
You can tell Pastor Jen that wasn't very familiar to us. <laughs> and the scripture reading today is Matthew chapter 15, verse 21, verses 21 to 28. Jesus left that place and went away to the distri district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. Hello, I'm Susan, and Pastor Jen asked me to share with you this uh, Sermon Crumbs of Faith activity. Sometimes it is the seemingly small, everyday things, the crumbs of life, that are like mana for us in challenging times. Perhaps it is noting something beautiful out your window, an unexpected laugh with a friend, a word from scripture, a good night's sleep, the feel of a soft blanket or the warmth of sun on your skin. What kinds of simple experiences have given you much needed relief or delight? What kinds of crumbs have met your hunger with sweetness? Write a crumb that you've received lately on the scrap of paper we handed out at the beginning of the service. It can be specific as seeing the red cardinal in my backyard or as general as coffee Please don't use any private information in your answer as they will be read by others. We'll just take a few minutes for you to write. And if you're joining us online, you can share your answers in the chat or the comments. Sure. Write a crumb that you've received recently on the scrap of paper. So a ex simple experience that's given you relief or delight, a an aha moment that brought you some peace. Just a few words to bring it to life. Debbie is going, has graciously helped, agreed to help me out. She's going to pass the basket and collect your crumbs in the basket. Now she's going to mix them up a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to pass the basket around again. Only this time, I invite you to take out one scrap of paper and read what someone else has written. If you're joining us online, take a moment to look at someone else's comment and reflect on the questions, on the answers.
at them? Okay. Does what they wrote resonate with you? Might you notice what they've noticed? Might you receive what they have received? Thank you. Wonderful. It's lovely to see what people have written. Let us pray. Like the Canaanite mother who noticed Jesus preaching on the road, may we find you and your presence in unexpected places and in everyday ways. May your spirit sanctify these crumbs of nourishment from our lives gathered here in communion. We offer them up like loaves and fishes, knowing that in community there is abundance. And may our modern mana remind us that you do not wish for us to be in pain. Rather, in the midst of life's suffering, you insist on being right here with us in every portion and size imaginable. Amen. Our hymn is number 485, O Love That Will Not Let Me Go. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Prophet Isaiah proclaimed that God, that God's house is a house of <clears throat> prayer for all peoples, 
and it is such a place where offerings are acceptable to God. Here in, the, here in this place of extravagant welcome, may our offerings of time, energy, money, resources, skills, hope, and prayer be lifted up to our God. May they, may they be discerned for the good that applies, applies out beyond our walls and felt by all who enter them. Amen. And as usual, um, the offering plate is in the back. If you want to uh, contribute, if you're online and want to contribute, the address is box 165, Dale, Wisconsin, 54931. Let us give thanks for all that we share as we have. May our get gratitude for this community and the Spirit's presence in this place space. May we know how to give and also how to receive, how to say yes and when to say no. Let us celebrate the gift of thanksgiving. Amen. And our closing hymn is number 77. Lord, dismiss us with your blessing. God's extravagant welcome go with us wherever we go. May we learn what it means to belong as God's beloved and extend this acceptance out in the world. Let us remember that with deep love, the waters of justice flow, and with the grounding in our own dignity, the fire of freedom lights up the world. Amen.